Hi, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans. And if you haven't seen, Apple have announced their new iPad Air. And some of the colors on this iPad Air are incredible. So my favorite one is the green one. And first of all, I was wondering whether any of you are gonna get this new iPad Air. If so, let me know in the comments down below. If you're an Android user though, and want to transfer some of your data from your Android phone to your iPad, then in this video, I will show you three different methods on how we can do that. But before we start, why don't you subscribe to the channel and then you'll never miss any of our tech tips. Let's get straight into method one, shall we? And method one is probably the best method, and that is to use Mobile Trans Wondershare. It is quick, speedy, it's convenient, and it pretty much is done in one click. So let me run you through how you can do that. First of all, you need to go and launch Mobile Trans and connect your Android and your iPhone to the computer, and then select phone transfer. What you need to go and do next is then select that source and target device. And that just means what you want to transfer your data to and from. And you can switch this in the middle there just by using that button. And then the only other thing that you need to do at this point is just select the file types that you want to transfer and click start. It is that easy. Okay, the next step is something you might not have even thought about, but it's really simple, and that is transferring your files using Google Drive. If you wanna transfer files from that Android phone, what you'll need to do, first of all, is go and open Google Drive and select that plus icon. And then just select all the files that you know you want to transfer over to that iPad. It could be anything from photos, music, or videos. Just select the ones that you want to upload. Now, go and grab maybe your brand new iPad Air, open Google Drive on that, and then the files that you put onto Google Drive from your Android, as long as you're logged in to the same Gmail account, will appear on your iPad. Find the files that you wanna download, select more, and then just click the application that you want to download these to. So files is a good app for this. And then before you know it, the files that you've selected to download will be downloaded directly to your iPad. Now you can simply locate that file on your iPad and you can send a copy by hitting that send a copy option. Move to iOS is the third option and move to iOS is usually used for when you are moving your entire phone to another device, but you can use it to also move selected files. It's completely free to download and you can download this both on your Android and you can download it on your iOS device as well. And this just makes sometimes moving some files just a little bit easy. Something that's quite important just to know here is that if you've already set up your iPad, you will need to reset it because you can only use the move to iOS option when your iPad is brand new. So if you have already set it up, just go ahead and reset it and then I will tell you how you can use this app. So the first step is just to go ahead and set up your iPad as it would be brand new. And then when you get to the apps and data screen, what you wanna click here is move data from Android. Then go and grab your Android device, head to the Google Play Store and download and install that Move to iOS app. And just make sure after you've downloaded it, you give it all the permissions that it asks for because it'll need this to transfer the data. Okay, so when that is then installed, what you'll need to do is launch that app, tap continue, agree to all the terms and conditions that it gives you there, and then click next to continue. Okay, now back to your iPad. What you'll need to do here is click continue and then you'll get a 12 digit code that appears on the screen. Enter that 12 digit code on the Android device. The final step here is that the two devices should now be connected. All you have to do is then click the type of files and data that you want to transfer over to the iPad and then that data transfer should start immediately. Once that is finished, you just go through the process as you normally would setting up the iPad and then that bit of data that you wanted to transfer from your Android device to your new iPad will be there. There are three methods there that have hopefully helped you move some data from an Android over to an iPad. The only difference in some of those methods is that some of those methods are only useful for transferring a few files at a time. Just remember to select the method which is more suitable to your needs. And if we have helped you out in this video, then why not subscribe to Mobile Trans so you don't miss any more of these tech tips. You can like the video as well if you really enjoyed it and we will see you on the next video.